Rickard Hartman College of Health Professions offers the finest in healthcare education for nursing, pharmacy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, counseling, marriage and family therapy, and health services administration. Housing all of these professions together creates a synergistic environment for faculty and students, and it gives us the opportunity for interprofessional education. The World Health Organization's operational definition of interprofessional education is that it occurs when students from two or more professions learn about, from, and with each other to enable effective collaboration and improve health outcomes. Interprofessional education is critical for the future of healthcare, allowing professionals the ability to collaborate effectively and creatively across disciplines, optimizing patient outcomes. Eventually, your education will turn into an interprofessional collaborative practice. This occurs when multiple health workers from different professional backgrounds work together with patients, families, and communities to deliver the highest quality of care. From my own personal experience, I landed my first clinical job in the early 1990s at Anacapa Hospital in Port Wyneme, California. I was hired as a marriage and family therapist for the inpatient adolescent treatment side of the house, which would admit up to 24 patients at any given time. My role was to provide individual, group, family, and multifamily therapy. I worked with a team of professionals, a psychiatrist or psychiatric nurse practitioner, a nurse, a psychologist, mental health workers, substance abuse counselors, and a teacher. Clients were required to attend school during treatment. The treatment team would meet regularly and consult about the patients to formulate treatment plans, interventions, and aftercare. I remember I was thinking, I never want to practice alone. I need the perspective of all of these professionals. That experience impressed upon me the value of interprofessional practice, something I wasn't necessarily trained to do in my own education. I was trained not to veer outside the limits of my scope of practice and to consult with other professionals only when needed. I reflected on this experience when I joined the board at Clinic at Tepeyac several years ago. It was a perfect fit for me. Their collaborative treatment model is exemplary, especially in the area of serving the underserved. They are increasing access to behavioral health care for clients and eventually adding dental services into the mix. Their model was recently mentioned in US News and World Report, which highlighted community health centers and the work they're doing across the nation to improve the health of the underserved. One story described Jean Cisneros, a 62-year-old who was at the doctor for a regular blood sugar and diabetes check when a caseworker came into her room and asked her a series of questions. Jean hadn't thought of herself as depressed, but as she answered the caseworker's queries, the pieces suddenly came together. That caseworker or patient navigator set Jean up with a therapist whom she would see regularly for months helping her to get through a really rough period. She had lost several family members and a close friend unexpectedly, all in a short period of time, and dealing with that on top of managing a chronic condition was a heavy burden. Jean said, the care I got helped me take care of myself, not just physically, but emotionally. At Rickard Hartman College of Health Professions, we are incorporating the IPIC, the Interprofessional Education Collaborative Core Competencies, into aspects of your experience today. After the initial publication in 2011, IPEC launched a second iteration of the core competencies in 2016, which identified interprofessional collaboration as a core competency in its own right. The reason this is important to you is because it's something you need to practice over time in order to become a highly skilled collaborative healthcare provider. The broadened interprofessional competencies better achieve the triple aim established by the World Health Organization. The triple aim is designed to improve the patient's experience of care, improve the health of populations, and to reduce the per capita cost of healthcare. Our goal today 
and in every interprofessional experience at Regis is to incorporate these competencies into your learning experience to the greatest extent possible. When you enter the workforce, you are ready to practice collaboratively to help ensure the health of the individual as well as the health of the population. Today as a college, we have the opportunity to learn together to take the best that each of our professions has to offer and to apply our knowledge and skills to a single case. I want to thank Tristan Amador and the Interprofessional Education Committee, as well as each faculty member who have given their time and talent to make this event possible. I challenge you to stay open and curious while sharing yourself, and I wish for this to be an extraordinary educational experience for you, one of many that you will never forget as part of your time at Regis.